Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Terry White here and I've been a fan of the Amazon Echo devices pretty much since day one. However, there's one feature I've been waiting for since day one and they recently added it. Actually, they added two new cool features that kind of can go hidden and you wouldn't even know they're there unless you read about it or you watched the video like this one. So the first one is called Brief Mode. And what that means is that the Echo will be less chatty. So for example, I have a smart home. I use the Echo to control lots of things around the house, but I don't need it to say something after I give it every command. So for example, now with brief mode enabled, if I were to say something like, Alexa, turn on Terry lamp. Now you'll notice that it just basically turned it on and then gave us a nice chime. It didn't have to say, okay, got it, no problem, as you, could, as you wish, or any of those things. It just basically gave me the chime. And then a few seconds later, a little bit longer than usual, the light went off. Now why did the light stay on so long this time? And that leads me to the feature I've been waiting for the longest, and it's called follow-up mode. So brief mode is the one that we just saw that gave, gave us a chime and that's basically turned on in your Alexa app uh, at the, near the bottom for basically all of your devices. However, follow up mode is something that you turn on for each individual device. So you can have it on or off for the ones that you want it on or off for. So what this means is that I no longer have to, to give it the wake word for every single thing I want it to do. So for example, Alexa. What's the weather in Miami today? Currently, in Miami, Florida, it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow in Miami, Florida, you'll see mostly sunny weather and can expect a high of 82 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. What's 324 minus 85? 324 minus 85 is 239. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Isla. Isla who? Isla Bomba playing. I love that song. Turn off Terry Lamp. Tell me a better joke. What do you call a dinosaur who's the life of the party? Dynamite! All right, so I, I purposely was quiet there after that last great joke, long enough for it to say, oh, okay, you're not telling me anything anymore, you're not giving me any more commands, so therefore I'll go back to listening for the wake word. So this is what makes the Echo the device I've been wanting for years. That device where I can not just give it a command and have to give it the wake word every single time, because a lot of times you do wanna know the next thing. And you notice how when I asked for the weather, I said, what, I just simply said, what about tomorrow? And it was smart enough to know I meant follow up on the weather that I was just asking about. So that's the kind of personal assistant, digital assistant, uh, AI, whatever you want to call it, device that I've been wanting. And we're finally getting there. This is a huge step forward and I can't wait for Amazon and all the others to keep making their devices better because the competition is what's driving all this stuff. So good job, Amazon, uh, Google, you're up next. And Siri, you know, you're still not too late. You can jump in and do something too. All right, so with that said, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.